What's going on everybody? It's uh, Crypto Crane here, trying to do a quick video. I was scrolling down Twitter and I came across some uh, very pertinent information. Uh, it seems like um, Empower Oversight uh, Group is seeking a Freedom of Information Act request on uh, certain ex-SEC members and citing a conflict of interest. So let's re read some of this right here. It says, SEC officials potential conflict of interest in promoting cryptocurrencies. So we're going to check out this summary and see what it says on this Freedom of Information Act requested um, by Empower uh, Oversight. Empower Oversight submitted a detailed Freedom of Information Act requested uh, to the SEC seeking communications between SEC officials and their current and former employees. From May 2017 to December 2020, senior SEC official William Hinman reportedly participated in the SEC's regulation of cryptocurrencies. While receiving millions of dollars for his former employee, employer, the law firm Simpson Thatcher, Simpson Thatcher is a part of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, an industry organization whose objective is to drive the use of Enterprise Ethereum. Hemin, while in his capacity at the SEC, declared that the Ethereum cryptocurrency, Ether, was not a security, causing its value to rise significantly. Later, the SEC sued one of Ethereum's competitors, Ripple, declaring it was a cryptocurrency. Uh, Ripple uh, XRP was a security. Shortly thereafter, XRP's value plummeted 25%. After Hemin left the SEC in December of 2020, he returned to Simpson Thatcher as a partner. The leader of the SEC division that brought the XCP lawsuit, Mark Berger, similarly left the SEC for Simpson Thatcher. Additionally, there are potential concerns regarding former SEC Chairman Jay Clayton's handling of cryptocurrency issues at SEC. As with Mr. Hinman and Ether, uh, while at the SEC, Mr. Clayton declared that Bitcoin was in a security and its value rose. The SEC's lawsuit against Ripple was filed at the end of Mr. Clayton's tenure at the commission. Once he left the SEC, Mr. Clayton joined One River Asset Management, a cryptocurrency hedge fund exclusively focused on Bitcoin and Ether. So this right here could be big. Um, if, uh, if this group right here and what they do are they uh, are a whistleblowers and research group. So if they can actually prove, um, you know, the conflict of interest and prove any of these things that they are uh, declaring that these former SEC officials did and declaring Ether, uh, Ether or Ethereum and Bitcoin and non-security and then going and working for the hedge funds, that would indeed be a conflict of interest. And, you know, I would think that any competent judge would either throw that out or rule in XRP Ripple's favor. And if that happens, then you can see the price of Ripple uh, skyrocket exponentially. Um, you can see it take off or, and moon, um, so to say. Um, so this could be very big. Um, and if this is, is indeed can be proven, then you have to wonder, um, you know, the, the exchanges that took XRP off of them, they would have to put them on immediately, and like I said, you would immediately see the sky, uh, the, the skyrocketing of the price, uh, you know, possibly past all-time highs. So this could be big. So this is something to keep an eye out on, and this group right here, the Empower Oversight uh, Group. So keep an eye out on this and uh, monitor this. All right. If you like the content that I provide for you, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and comment to the channel. And um, check out our Twitter. You can also find us there. We post information. Sometimes we post technical analysis setups and other information as far as cryptocurrency related. And so check us out on Twitter at CryptoCrane20. All right. We'll check you guys tomorrow. Peace out.